Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianca with Be Like Transformative Therapy, and today I wanted to offer a quick tip for managing unpredictable bouts of sighing and or yawning during your day. I don't really want to talk about the genesis of why you might be sighing or yawning a lot. I'd rather talk about what happens when you do actually sigh or yawn a lot. So what does happen? Let's first take a look at a classic yawn. <sighs> and now let's take a look at a classic sigh. <sighs> what do those two things have in common? Well, they both happen to consist of an open mouth exhale that blows off a fair amount of air, and with that air, a fair amount of CO2. Now, one or two sighs or yawns is no big deal. It only becomes a potential issue if you find that you're having chronic bouts of sighing and or yawning throughout your day. If it starts to become a habit, now it's more akin to something like chronic hyperventilation because maybe you're starting to blow off more CO2 than what is really ideal. We know from previous videos that when we blow off too much CO2, that can leave us feeling breathless and fatigued. It can cause constriction of the airways and the blood vessels, and it also leads to poor oxygenation of the tissues and the organs. So what can we do about it? One option could be to practice breath holds during the day as a way to sort of recapture that diminished CO2 and also to allow the levels of CO2 to slightly rise back up. And we've got a few ways to go about this. Number one, for every yawn or sigh that you have during the day, hold your breath. I would say hold your breath for at least 10 seconds, but you could also hold for a maximum breath hold. So this strategy is sort of a one-for-one one exchange, meaning I yawn or sigh, and then I immediately hold my breath. In the Oxygen Advantage, we like to practice our breath holds after an exhale. So I would blow the air out my nose, I would pinch my nose, and I would hold my breath. Number two, if you know that you chronically are yawning or sighing throughout the day, then you might wanna be a little bit more proactive about trying to balance the blood gases just to see if that helps to reduce your yawning and or sighing. So if you're interested in implementing a routine, I've got two suggestions for you. Number one, practice mini breath holds, maybe for three to five minutes at a time, maybe two to three times per day. You can find the full tutorial for that exercise right up here as well as in the video description. And then number two, practice the nose unblocking exercise, maybe five times in a row, maybe two to three times per day. Yes, this exercise is designed to help you clear out your sinuses, but it's also a maximum breath hold, and it's really useful and relevant to what we're talking about today. You can find that complete tutorial by clicking here or also by checking the description below this video. That's it for today. I hope that this quick tip was helpful for you. If you have any questions or feedback I'd love to hear from you, please leave those down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to check out my totally free Breath Basics six day challenge, my deep dive into functional breathing called the four week breath Boot Camp, my private online Be Light community, and my free functional breathing PDF. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me A Coffee page. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.